Hey YouTube, it's ICU and welcome to the 112th episode of Best Tech Info and Rumors. All right, and first off, I just wanted to preface by saying that this episode will be shorter than normal, and if you want more details on anything I discuss, everything will be linked down below in the more info, so just be sure to check it out if you want more details, again, on what I discuss in this episode. Also, I will be discussing giveaways more towards the end of this episode, so just be sure to stick around for that. All right, now, first up, of course, yesterday, Friday, November 2nd, Apple released both the iPad mini and the new fourth generation iPad. Now, I have made a few videos related to the new iPads, mostly unboxing videos. However, just be sure to stay tuned. I will have more coverage on both of the devices. Now also a day before the new iPads were released, Apple pushed out iOS 6.0.1 and they also released 6.1 beta to developers. Now first of all, starting with iOS 6.0.1, it has minor changes over iOS 6. So if you can avoid upgrading from 6.0 to 6.0.1, it's probably a good idea to do so. Because I'm sure while an untethered jailbreak won't really be pushed out until 6.1 or later, it's always a good idea to stay on a lower firmware if at all possible. Possible. So back to 6.0.1 really quick. If you guys want more details on it, including all of the changes and bug fixes, just be sure to check out the post on Best Tech Info that I have linked to down below. Same thing goes for 6.1 beta. Again, nothing really too major, and it makes me wonder why they actually didn't include the changes in 6.1 in 6.0.1. Maybe it's because they didn't realize those changes needed to be made until 6.0.1 was actually already through the testing phase. But whatever the case may be, developers can download it and restore to 6.0.1 one if they so choose. And I'm sure many of you either have or haven't heard of Apple's major restructuring of their executive staff. So of course it was announced that Scott Forstall, the former executive for iOS software, will actually be leaving the company in 2013. Now instead of bringing on someone new to handle iOS software, Apple will divvy Forstall's responsibilities among current Apple executives. Now it's said that there are actually a few reasons as to why Scott Forstall is being forced out of Apple. However, one of the major ones was his disagreement with how Apple handled the iOS Maps scandal. Of course, Forstall felt that there were solutions to actually solve the iOS 6 Maps problem without publicly apologizing. But there's more to it than just that. Be sure to read the full and in-depth article if you're at all interested. Moving on, on October 30th, an update for the Google Search app was actually pushed through to the App Store. So now users of the application can actually use voice input to search for things inside of Google. And it's actually very similar to the built-in voice functionality of Android Jelly Bean for, again, Android-based devices. And what I actually found to be very interesting is that during my own test, I actually realized that the Google search voice function was actually faster than Siri in most cases. And you can actually do other things with this application, such as ask what something looks like, and it will bring you to the Google images portion for that search. So again, that's something you can't really do with Siri. However, of course, with Siri for iOS, you can do things that you can't do with Google search such as actually call places, book tables, send text messages, and more. Now finally, today MuscleNerd tweeted out evidence that the iPad mini has indeed been jailbroken. However, before you get too excited, just know that it is with the current fail break. Now I have outlined what a fail break is in previous episodes of Best Tech Info and Rumors and also on Best Tech Info. But just to summarize for you guys really quick, essentially it's a jailbreak that can only be used by iOS device owners with access to a developer account. Also, it would have legal repercussions for the dev team if it were to be released. But again, this just shows us that they're moving in the right direction and that we're moving towards a jailbreak for the newer devices and hopefully an untethered jailbreak. Now, a lot of you have actually been asking me for a time frame as to when a 6.0.1 jailbreak will be released. Of course, while it's nearly impossible to determine, again, as I mentioned earlier in this episode, it's likely that the dev team will wait until 6.1 is publicly released to actually push out an untethered jailbreak utility for the newer iOS devices. And also along with that, even though Red Snow hasn't been updated to include support for 6.0.1 yet. I actually made a tutorial on how to jailbreak with Red Snow simply by pointing it at your iOS 6 IPSW to essentially trick it into thinking you're on iOS 6 when in reality you're on 6.0.1. And also in that video, I kind of go into depth on the semi-untethered jailbreak or the semi-tethered jailbreak and how to actually achieve it after jailbreaking tethered with Red Snow. So of course, if you guys want to watch that or if you want more details on that, just be sure to check out the video. Now for the question of the day, let me know what you guys think about the iPad mini now that it's released. 
least. Maybe you actually have one, you've had some hands-on time with one, or you've seen any of the numerous videos that are on YouTube about the new device. Again, just be sure to leave any of your thoughts down below in the comments section or on Best Tech Info. Now, of course, as far as the giveaways are concerned, a random winner has been selected to receive the fifth generation iPod Touch. However, they have yet to respond to me and I actually announced it earlier this week. Their YouTube name's actually on the screen right now and if they don't get back to me by next week's episode of Best Tech Info and Rumors, I'll be forced to select another winner for the fifth generation iPod Touch. Now, as far as the iPad mini giveaway is concerned, that's still going on. So, of course, to enter the iPad mini giveaway, just be sure to rate any of my videos up and leave a comment down below in the comment section with the key phrase iPad mini giveaway and you will be automatically entered to win. Don't forget to enter on all of my most recent videos, which I'll have links to down below in the more info. Now, if you guys want a chance to earn paid iOS applications for free from Apple's App Store, just be sure to visit bit.ly forward slash ICU free apps. Again, that link is on the screen now. Just be sure to visit it on your mobile iOS based device. And you can again, like I said, earn free paid applications. All right. And of course, don't forget to be updated more often. Just be sure to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and add me to one of your circles inside of Google Plus. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.